uh, and it is all he's because there's no she's, uh, even though we saw that there was a, a, a Catholic, a Catholic uh, minister from Methodist Church in, the, uh, uh, in Ballsbridge today, and I welcomed her. But um, uh, it's uh, he, uh, they, they, they are not a public servant, not obliged to report illicit facts on people or types of concern of this document relating uh, to state judicial things. So if that's good in Rome, and our boss is in Rome, as the Minister, quite certain that it doesn't transfer in here. I just want to make sure that we have all the T's crossed and the I's dotted. Uh, I know uh, the Irish bishops and I want to congratulate them on uh, the regulations and uh, what they have brought, as far as my understanding of it, is that it is different than the Italian regulations. So uh, all I'm concerned is it, with the legal le regulations that we're drawing up, that it covers everybody uh, the same and that the onus is on everybody to report and that the children, the children come first and everybody, there should be a failure to, <coughs> if they don't put children first, that that should be the first obligation before church, state, any other obligation that's on you that the child comes first. Thank you. And that to ensure that our legislation is strong enough to ensure that. Ben Turner. Um, I'd just like to to recall uh, at second stage, and we, we did have, have quite a debate uh, on this issue, so I'm not going to repeat what I said at second stage, um, but I do certainly agree with Senator Bradford uh, that the caveats uh, can lead maybe that the, the public um, are not fully informed of what the intentions of this bill is. So I do think it reinforces the need for a clear information campaign uh, when this bill it passes through the houses, that we clearly inform the public. So the questions such as what Senator Colin Ann has, has shared with us earlier, uh, that there is no ambiguity about it. Uh, we learned, uh, um, obviously, from the, the, the reports that have been published, but also uh, the Amnesty International report in plain sight, which very much talked about societal uh, responses and the lack of society, general society, who were aware of abuses and, and did not report. And I want to ensure that this uh, legislation that we're working on here shines a light into every shadow so that there is no child uh, who is at risk and, and that anybody who has any doubt uh, and any hesitation that they will report um, and that we won't have situations um, uh, and many counsellors uh, call it the resurrected father uh, syndrome where they go into counselling um, and, and they claim that the abuser has died um, but as the trust is built up during the counselling sessions um, they are resurrected as such because they are now transpires that they are alive and um, so we, we, there is a sensitivity around that counselling but I think the bill has very clearly dealt with this um, and for me we do need to ensure that we don't just talk about confessional or just talk. This bill for me is about any citizen, anybody in Ireland withholding information that is putting a child or a vulnerable person at risk. Simple as. And I think we need to ensure that that's the message that goes out and not the caveats and all the different. That's when we get into the detail. But for me, it sends a very clear message, which I welcome. Okay. Well, again, if I could thank Senators for their very considered uh, contributions. And I want to, if I might, make first of all a general point and then deal with the specific queries that have been raised. I, I want to be absolutely clear because um, there's been some very interesting reports in the media. Uh, I've seen two, uh, a variety of different things. I've seen, uh, in one sense, an, uh, a suggestion that the entire uh, 